What's up everybody? Welcome back to Eye Candy. In this week's video, we're going to be working on a 2021 Ford F-150. So stay tuned. Jumping into this repair, this is a aluminum body truck and it has some damage over here on the tailgate where it got damaged in transport. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but it's not repairable. So we're gonna just replace this tailgate. Um, so this repair just mainly consists of taking all this, these parts off, making sure nothing breaks, um, getting the new tailgate prepped and painted. Um, I will do another letdown panel just to try to get the color as close as we possibly can and then just reassembling and putting back together. It should be a fairly small job, but uh, I do appreciate you guys coming along for the ride and uh, stay tuned. Let's get this knocked out. So when you're shooting a three stage pearl or you're doing any spray out regardless, just some tips that I've learned. If you take and you take your spray out and you tape it to the panel and you walk away from it, you look at it at all different angles um, and maybe even take some pictures of it, see what it looks like on your phone. It'll kind of help you dial that color in and see what it needs. In this case, I didn't get an exact um, color off of the camera and I had one color that I liked, but it was too light. So I added 10% yellow, 10% black. And then I sprayed it. I did a letdown panel. The, the metallics were actually still a little buried down deep and in the vehicle, they were really standing up. So um, on my spray out, it looked the same way. And so what I ended up doing is I put one final last uh, drop coat, I dropped my pressure and just really dusted some metallics on and that really made it stand up and it matches the vehicle really well. So anyway, that's some tips on um, doing color matching. So guys, I'm getting ready to uh, reassemble this tailgate and put the new one on. So I'm kind of taking off some more stuff and I just started peeling back this uh, this spray and liner that came, I don't know, factory dealer must have done it. Um, I see it on a lot of these factory jobs, but they didn't prep it good enough. And uh, here, th let me just show you what this is doing. I thought this was interesting. So I need to get in here to get these clips out. And I just noticed like one edge was kind of coming up. And so I started peeling it up and the whole thing is coming up. Oh, I need to take off some more stuff, but I'm kind of curious if it's going to all come off in one piece. Um, and you can see they did just a little bit or that's just wear, um, but they didn't prep any of this for that to stick. So anyways, fun little fact. I don't know. I don't know who's doing these for these dealers. I'm sure it's not the factory, but probably it could be, but it's probably more of a factory add-on. So anyways.
So it all came up in one piece, surprisingly. Um, it looks like it was sprayed in, but it also looks like it could be a pre-made pad, but um, the way it's kind of imprinted, looks like it just laid down really smooth on the inside. Um, the edges were the only thing that was prepped. Uh, traditional bed liner, everything like spraying bed liners got to be prepped to like 80 grit um, really well. And the only thing that was scuffed at all was around the edges and everything else was uh, totally clean paint. So um, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm going to uh, leave this out or glue it on the new one. Um, anyways, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you think this was a sprayed in job or if you know something more than I do about this, it's a 2021 F-150. Um, definitely interesting. I'm excited to figure out you know, whether this was a spray in deal or what the heck. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This was my first 2021 F-150 tailgate, and there is a lot going on in that tailgate. Um, a lot of actuators, a lot of cameras and lights and sensors. So, you know, if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below. I'd be happy to answer anything that I learned through the process, or maybe even do a uh, video to help somebody. So. Let me know, please like and subscribe, but until the next time, we'll catch you later.